God, God, dog. Folks, let me put this disclaimer, okay? I don't make fun of anybody. They lose, they, they, you know, they lose their livelihood during a pandemic. I don't make fun of that, um, and I never will do that. Uh, Andrew Cuomo has, he's resigned. Um, and, and listen, man, this dude turned from pimp to player to simp. Okay, I mean, Andrew, 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 listen to your boy coach, okay? You, you, you need to listen to your boy right now, Andrew. You need to go on here and just say, look, just say you did it, okay? But, hey, hey y'all, how does dude, how does dude resign, but he's still working on the job 14 more days? How does that happen, y'all? Like, what, what the hell? Like, Andrew Cuomo got that kind of power? Like, for real, he got that kind of power. Like, this dude can, can resign, get fired, but still be on the job 14 days. I tell you what, boy, good grief. Boy. He must have been a hell of a damn governor, wasn't he? But see, he resigned, man. He resigned. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. This is a classic case of you tried to be a pimp. You thought you was a player. And now he ended up being a simp. And I'm going to explain. See, the problem was Andrew Cuomo was dipping and dabbling with too many girls. It was too many of them. It was too many of them. And see, one of them, they got smart. They realized, look. I can go on and get me a bag off this old, old fool. I can get me a bag off this 63-year-old fool. I can't. I can go do it. And see, a lot of these young girls, they was enamored by him like he was the governor. You know, I'm, I'm working for the governor. Oh, he's showing me extra attention. See, they were enamored by this dude. And, you know, he probably threw some charm on him. He probably told them what they want to hear. But see, the, the problem is, the problem is, what Andrew Cuomo, he, he did, see, he, start, he got with these girls, messing with them, and then, you know, thought he was a player, thought he was a pimp. But then see Andrew Cuomo turn into a stalker. I want y'all to look at this damn face. Now y'all tell me, don't this look like some damn body who would stalk the hell out of you? Don't this look like somebody who will be stalking you? Andrew Cuomo, man, they probably gave Andrew a little bit. They got a little coomty coom side with Andrew. Andrew, you know, Andrew probably showing up at her damn job or showing up at her office. Showing up at the little kid's soccer game. Showing, you see Andrew at the damn grocery store. Andrew over there trying to, you know, uh, shop. Yeah, we know damn well Andrew ain't going to no damn grocery shor- uh, store trying, trying to shop with a whole. He probably got people to do that for him. Or you see Andrew at the damn gas station. Guys, y'all know what it is. Andrew fell up in some good old-fashioned young girl. And, and, and then at the end of the day, you know, that young girl got put off by Andrew. She was probably cool at first when she realized Andrew was crazy. When she realized Andrew was, was a stalker, she was like, oh, I got to get Andrew up out of here. I got to get him out of here. Andrew ruined my life. And see, Andrew had all that damn power. And he was probably telling these girls, if you don't do this, do this. You know, hey, <laughs> your career ain't going nowhere. But I do believe the girl that accused him. I believe him. But here's what I also think. This is what I think. I think the first couple of times they got together, it was consensual. Like, I think Andrew knocked it down. You can even see in that photograph, man, the way that they took the photograph, you don't, you know, the way they took it, man, to me, it suggests that they were very comfortable around each other. Like, you know, you take a photograph of somebody, just a selfie. You're not all up in their personal space. Like you smile beside them, but it don't look suggestive. Like they look like they were dating. OK, that's the selfie. I, you know, I probably try, I wish I can find it. But that's the damn self. That selfie with him and that woman, it looked like they were dating. OK, straight up. And I think it was consensual at first. But then I think she got put off by Andrew. Like Andrew started turning into a damn weirdo, you know, start showing up at the grocery store, showing up at, at the little kid, you know, soccer games or, you know, Andrew just start showing up in various places. Wherever she go, damn Andrew be right there trying to follow. She probably got put off by it. She probably told Andrew, hey, Andrew, you know, you're a nice guy and all. But listen, let, let's just keep it professional. Let, let's just be friends. Ah, <laughs> see this face? Do you think that this is a man that can handle that word? Hey, let's just be friends. I want y'all to tell me the truth. Can this dude right here handle a woman telling him, hey, Andrew, let's just be friends? Folks, I got to tell y'all, that's a hell no. This dude, look, this dude, he ain't even got the mask on his damn face. And, 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 and look at Melissa DeRosa. Look at her. Look, man, Melissa got these holes. Look at this, man. She got holes in her dress. Like, what were they doing? What were they doing before they walked out to take this picture? What were these two doing? 
Like, was he grabbing on or something? Because, you know, Andrew ain't even got the mask on his damn face. What was he doing, man? I mean, what, what, what was he biting? I mean, hell, these two right here, I know they up to something. I know they was getting coons and coons. She don't even look that bad for an older woman. She don't look that bad. I mean, she got these bags up on her eyes, you know, but she need to get some sleep. She'll be all right. But I, I didn't see him look that bad. Andrew was knocking this down. And look, and if you've been listening to Rosa Husband, listen, you, you, you got to listen to your boy here. You need to listen to your boy, Coach. Andrew knocked us down. Andrew knocked it down. He knocked it down. And I don't think there's nothing you can do about that. I don't know. What, what, you going to forgive him? <laughs> we don't know what you're going to do. But I tell you what, that hole in her dress look damn suspicious, don't it? It looks suspicious. And a, a little dress kind of wrinkled up. You know, what, what, what was her and Andrew doing before they took this photograph? That, that, that's what the coach got to know. Damn, damn dude trying to hear him put his mask on. Andrew, we know what you was doing. Y'all was, was stuck to each other's face. We know this, Andrew. We know this about you. I mean, Andrew, how you going to explain all this? You tried to. You said you didn't do it. Andrew, you did it. Andrew turned, and, and then he probably started, when he started acting like a simp, them girls, they started getting scared. This dude looked like a simp now. I, I mean, <laughs> dang, man. Your whole empire over females. I don't get how dudes can do this. I don't get how dudes can get that death trap between their legs, these women. I don't know what they can, that death trap, well, that thing got some power, don't it? Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way I'm going to destroy my own empire with that death trap. I, 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 co coach can't do it. But this man, this man right here, and he did it. He did it. Andrew, you just need to go on and say it, man. Like Bill Clinton. <laughs> so you need to take some advice from Bill. Bill Clinton said, yeah, I'd, uh, first Bill lied about it. And then Bill said, well, uh, you know, uh, I did do it. Uh, <laughs> he did. Andrew, just come clean, bro. Look, we're not going to even judge you. Just come clean. Just say, yeah, you did it. You touched the inappropriate. Because see, what's going to happen, him leaving ain't going to be the end of it. That ain't going to be the end of it. Oh, they finna press uh, charges against this dude. They finna have civil lawsuits. He, Andrew ain't getting out of this. He ain't getting out of this. They take your job and they finna take your dignity. They taking everything, Andrew. But this your own fault. This is a lesson to all you dudes. I was trying to tell some of y'all this. You don't want to be a player no more. Like, cut it out. You own the job, some of you dudes. I done told y'all, leave these young girls at your job alone. Cause they ain't worth nothing. They ain't worth nothing. They ain't worth nothing. They flirt with you, tell them, hey, I'm good. I'm good. You never intermingle your bread. You don't, you don't, you don't talk, man, that's one of my top rules. I ain't hitting nobody at work. Not even for leisure because they will mess up, they will interrupt the flow of income into your house. I told some of you dudes this. Andrew Cuomo, you should have been listening to me, man. I, hell, I should have been your publicist. I, man, I would have said, Andrew, look here, man. I see these young girls. They're all up on you. Look, man, look. Look, man. You ain't cut them off, man. Go get you a woman, a good woman. Go find somebody, you know, 35, somewhere in that age range. Make sure she put together real nice. Find her, you know, hell, she don't need no kids. Okay, go get somebody like that. And then, Andrew, go knock it down, okay? You knock it down. You have on your arm everywhere. So, see, then it won't look like you're in a scandal, Andrew, okay? But every time this dude took a picture of one of them young girls, I was like, man, <laughs> man, man, man. When you're a person of power, do not lose your power. Keep them young girls out of your circle, bro. Keep them out because they don't want nothing but clout. It's 2021. It's 2021, okay? No young girl is going to be attracted. She ain't going to be, she, she don't want nothing from you but clout. What you got to get security. I used to always wonder, you know, as a 40-something, why these 20 something why they always coming up? But when they see a person in their 40s, or hell, Andrew in his damn 60s, they see security. They see somebody they can chill with, and Andrew done told you, hey, you know, you're the only one. Babe. Listen, man, <laughs> the jig is up on that. Them young girls, they smart. They get smart quick. And they realize you ain't trying to commit to them, man, they out of there. And then they're going to say you raped them. 
Andrew Lucky. Andrew Lucky, that all he got out of this was he got uh, he was touching these people inappropriately. He lucky because if somebody accused him of rape, it's, it's over. If somebody accuses crazy looking bastard of rape, it is over. This is the last look. This is the first of his problems. Leaving a White House. I'm sorry. Leaving a governor's mansion is the first of his house. I mean, his problems. He said he ain't got nowhere to go. Come on, Andrew, cut, cut that out. Andrew, you got like five, you got like five uh, 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 apartments, man. Yeah, go to one of them damn apartments that you got from one of them damn uh, females you was with. You was trying to secret rendezvous so wouldn't nobody know that you was on the back end sleeping with them young girls. Man, you better go to one of them damn apartments that you rented. Like, cut the shit, Andrew. Cut the shit. Damn. Andrew, you done fucked, boy, you done fucked up, Andrew. God dang, boy. They are wrong with you. They are wrong with you. Well, at least, Andrew, you can say this. You have fun as a governor of New York. You have fun, boy. I mean, boy, you did everything that you could. And now, Andrew, the chickens have come home to roost. The chickens have come home to roost, Andrew. And, uh, bro, 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 bro. Well, may, hey, he can write him another book, though. After he done with all the lawsuits and all the allegations and when this stuff happened, and he better be lucky. He better be lucky that he's going to avoid criminal prosecution. I think he's going to avoid it. Write another book, man. Write another book because you're going to need all the money that you can, all the money that you can. After these females get done taking all your money and Andrew Cuomo has turned from simp. I mean, he's turned from pimp to player. <laughs> now he's a simp.